I am 100% getting sick. It is so rainy and disgusting. I've been having cold sweats all day. Don't know what's happening. I feel horrible, I have a headache. We have class at two o'clock. I also keep getting really red and splotchy. It just feels like I'm having a really bad pot stay, but I just, I don't know how to explain it. It's really, it's a really weird feeling. When I was in class, like when I first got to class, I started typing and I couldn't because my hands have been jittery all day and I could barely type. Okay, update. I just put on deodorant and I'm already dripping sweat. That little like drip on my arm right there. Boop. Why? And also, I don't, I can't stop shaking. And I have this weird feeling in my stomach and I don't know why I just feel like I'm having a POTS episode, but it just this feels different. I'm doing a little makeup, just maybe I'll feel better. Sometimes when I put a little makeup on, it just makes me feel better. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm trying whatever I can do at this point. I should be studying for the quiz I have next class. I almost said period. Also, my brain is all over the place today. Like, ugh. I'm so annoyed. I'm probably just getting sick. Oh well. Where is my cat? <laughs> So I realized I didn't have any footage of me talking about like what actually happened so here we are. So basically everything I'm going to tell you I have accumulated from hearing other people talk about what happened because I don't remember what happened. Um, I remember walking to class and that's about it. We took a quiz, I don't remember taking the quiz and I remember very briefly bits and pieces of waking up. Um, now <laughs> because some stuff has come back to me but I figured I would tell you guys the story of what actually happened um, so you, you, it'll kind of better frame the picture for you I guess I finished my quiz I turned it in like I said I don't remember doing this and then I guess we were about to dismiss and I fell out of my chair I figured this out myself we weren't sure exactly how I fell but I found a bruise on my hip that hurt really bad to walk for a few days <laughs> so I assume I fell out of my chair onto my hip and yeah anyway uh so yeah I fell out of my chair before dismissal and then started convulsing and foaming up the mouth. So from what people told me, it lasted for about a minute um, and that was just convulsions uh, and the foaming. And then I stopped and then they said I started again, but they weren't sure if, if it was just one seizure with a break or if it was two separate seizures, they weren't sure, but I did convulsing in for a little bit more. And then I was just passed out. Like I was just unconscious, like I wasn't awake. I was breathing, but I, wasn't responsive at all like I was just completely passed out so it was about t 10 minutes total so uh, TUPD got there at some point and then the paramedics arrived so at this point I'm still unconscious and this is the part where I do wake up though because the two paramedics picked me up by my feet and like behind here like my arms picked me up and put me on the stretcher and that's when I woke up and I guess I woke up and I just started like crying frantically because I was confused. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know anything. Like I, I was just very disoriented and out of it and just confused. And um, my friend Kira was there so she was able to calm me down because um, keep in mind, I don't like hospitals. I don't really love doctors or paramedics. Like it's nothing personal. I just don't love doctors because <laughs> of all my health issues. So I, Waking up is so fuzzy and I don't know if I'm just trying to block it out because it was kind of traumatizing or if like, I it's just, I don't know. I'm just, ugh. Ew. Needless to say, I woke up, was panicking. I just remember the fear that I felt because I had paramedics holding me by my feet and my arms and when I woke up, I started to try to get up and they were holding me and they pushed me down. And like my biggest thing with my anxiety and stuff is like I can't be restrained or held back or like forced down like it it floods me like it makes me completely panic like I just I can't handle it <laughs> woke up already being confused and disoriented and scared and then I was being held down and pushed down and back by paramedics and I was surrounded by police officers and I didn't know what was happening or where where I was what happened what was going on it, it was just a lot and then they wheeled me out. One thing I remember one of the paramedics saying was, um, she was like, this is the third person today that we've taken out of this building via hospital. I was the third person in the liberal arts building at Towson to be taken out in an ambulance that day. She was like, these kids are dropping like flies. Like, what are they doing to these kids? Like, what kind of exams are they giving these kids? 
So that's the one thing I remember. And then, yeah, I got in the ambulance and we rode to the hospital. Um, when I got to the hospital is when things started to actually like come back and I started kind of catching up and just getting more oriented with everything. Um, it was a really weird feeling, but um, yeah, that's kind of where this video picks up. Do you like you hit your head? I have a pounding headache. <laughs> and my entire body hurts. How do I start this one? Hi, Femra. I just had a seizure. <laughs> it's not, but I'm trying to make light of it so I don't pick. Another process. Another process. I did not catch a break. Me and Elena, I'm pretty sure I remember me and Elena having a conversation being like, no hospitalizations in 2020. Mm. At least I remember that we had that conversation. Do you remember talking to me? I was texting you and you were on your way to class and you had said, well, you can look at the text, but. I looked at the text, but it's a little fuzzy, but kind of. So I think you were still fine then. You just weren't feeling well. Yeah. It was just your mind. Hate to see it. All done. We're leaving now. Hi guys. I'm kind of losing it right now. It's like 6 a.m. I've been throwing up every single hour since 3 a.m. I can't keep any water down. And I'm shaking again. And this is how it was before I had my last shirt. I have ice cream. I don't know what's happening. I'm just tired of feeling horrible. And I didn't even get an answer about what happened. Like, I have to go see a doctor to get a new figure out, I don't know, my brain is all over the place, like, it took me until like, last night to like fully remember things, like, I just, I'm so scared. So literally right now where I'm at is I have constantly thrown up since 3 a.m. I haven't slept in two days, I haven't eaten in two days, I have basically had a seizure or what looked like a seizure in the middle of class and now I can't stop throwing up. And I'm exhausted and I'm shaking again because my body can't handle it anymore. I thought I was done with all this shit, but I really, really did. I just want to vlog this in case any of you out there also have like medical issues. Like I've always been very open with you all about them. And this is honestly been one of the scariest ones. I've never forgotten where I live. I've never forgotten my phone number before or my mom's phone number thing. Like, it's just scary. Oh, my mom is getting ready and I'm gonna go to the ER again for the second time in 24 hours. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna go do some deep breathing, calm myself down because the last thing I need is to work myself up. Katie came and brought me smoothie king. Bruise number one. Yuck. Hey guys, um, I'm a little shaky this morning. Sorry for the horrible vlog footage, but they just came in and drew some blood. I haven't had any more seizures. Um, very out of it. I just woke up. It's like almost 6 a.m. So it's like 5 something. But yep, I don't. I'm getting discharged. My poor arms. <laughs> Look at that. That's so tragic. This is my other one. 
This is my knee bruise. <laughs> it's dark. Oof. So I haven't really updated y'all. It's been a little bit. Um, <laughs> what are the updates? Um, so I have an appointment on Tuesday with uh, my cardiologist and they want to redo an echocardiogram just to make sure that there's nothing else going on with my heart. So I'm doing that Tuesday. So I'm actually just going to stay home through Monday because I'm still not feeling the best. I threw out like the lower right part of my back by having these non-epileptic seizures it like messed up my back so now it like hurts to move i'm still finding bruises places and i'm just my body is still really hurting um so i'm gonna just take monday off and just relax and probably just work from home and do homework at home and then i'll have my appointment with my cardiologist on tuesday but what they're saying is that it is post syncope convulsions which is a type of non-epileptic seizure so that's what they're saying is going on and they're saying that that can be really brought on by stress your sleeping habits and your eating habits so <sighs> so i'm just frustrated and i'm tired of my body hurting but i'm glad i'm not throwing up anymore thank god i'm keeping food down now at least again i don't know why that's my body's response to everything my cyclic vomiting is back we've pretty much figured that out um i had that when i was a kid but now it's back whenever i get sick i guess this is my body's new reaction to just any kind of bug or virus like when my body's stressed it, like when it's put on that like stress of being sick like it just can't handle any stress on top of that so i don't know that's what's going on i'm sorry i look a mess i'm just cuddling here with luna i keep crying i'm just <sighs> stuff has been coming back and it's just scary <laughs> just waking up like that and it's just been a lot like having to as things have been like coming back it's just been a lot to, it's just been a lot to process <sighs> well um that's the update <laughs> just so you know like this is kind of my outlet like if someone else out there is like going through this like i want them to not feel alone going through this sucks and it's really hard and it's really scary and i know that i'm not the only person out here who's doing what this or going through something like this so i just want to be able to help anyone out there if i can by sharing my experience but it's been hard i've never had a, any form of seizure or seizure like activity before and i get two out of no anyway that's what's going on. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna go cuddle with my cat and just get out these feelings. <laughs>